Hi and welcome to the Canine Collective. Today, we're discussing the dog mating process and why dogs can sometimes get stuck during breeding. First off, let's talk about the female dog's heat cycle. Female dogs have a reproductive cycle that is similar to the menstrual cycle in humans, and they are only capable of reproducing during a special time in their cycle known as estrus, or heat. During estrus, female dogs will experience a number of physical and behavioral changes that signal to male dogs that they are ready to mate. These changes include swelling of the vulva, increased urination to mark territory, and changes in behavior such as becoming more affectionate or aloof. Estrus typically occurs every 6 to 12 months and lasts for about 3 weeks. It's important to note that not all female dogs will experience the same symptoms during estrus, and some may exhibit very little outward signs of being in heat. Some common signs of estrus in female dogs include swelling of the vulva, which can range from mild to severe, increased urination to marked territory, and changes in behavior such as becoming more affectionate or aloof. Female dogs may also exhibit a change in their vocalizations, such as barking or whining more frequently, and they may also be more receptive to male dogs. Now that we've covered the female dog's heat cycle, let's talk about the mating process. When a male and female dog are ready to mate, the male will mount the female and insert his penis into her vagina. The process of mating can take anywhere from a few minutes to an hour, and the male may mate with the female multiple times over the course of a few days. During mating, the male's penis becomes swollen inside the female's vagina. This swelling is caused by the female's vaginal muscles contracting around the male's penis, and it usually lasts for about 10 to 30 minutes. This phenomenon is known as tie or copulatory tie, and it serves several important functions. First, tie helps to ensure that the male sperm stays inside the female's reproductive tract for a longer period of time, increasing the chances of fertilization. The female's vaginal muscles contract around the male's swollen penis, creating a seal that prevents the sperm from leaking out. This is especially important because sperm can only survive inside the female's reproductive tract for a short period of time, so the longer they are able to stay inside, the higher the chances of fertilization. Second, Tai helps to prevent other males from mating with the female while she is still in heat. The male swollen penis creates a physical barrier that makes it difficult for other males to access the female's reproductive tract. This helps to ensure that the sperm of the male who initiated the tie has the highest chance of fertilizing the female's eggs. However, if the tie lasts for an extended period of time or if the male becomes agitated or aggressive, it's important to seek the assistance of a veterinarian. In rare cases, the male may need to be physically separated from the female in order to avoid injury to either dog. It's important to note that dogs should only be bred under responsible conditions and with the guidance of a veterinarian or a reputable breeder. Unplanned or irresponsible breeding can contribute to overpopulation and animal suffering. So there you have it, that's the dog mating process and why dogs can sometimes get stuck during breeding. We hope you found this video informative and learned something new about the amazing ways that dogs reproduce and bring new life into the world. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to join the pack and stay up to date with all things canine. We'll see you in the next video.